I served Noah for 31 and a half years. I would serve Noah Core for 30 years. I don't know that I have one proud moment that outshines the other, except for there are two. I cannot separate those two in my, my mind. And that is when I got command of a ship and when I made Admiral, because I was the first woman, and to be a woman of color was pretty significant. I think that I brought to Noah and Noah Corps more specifically a sense that people of color can do things and do things just as well or maybe better than other people, that we're no different from that standpoint. We are sincere about doing a good job. We want to do a good job, and we have a good work ethic. I remember one of my guys saying, you know, the thing about her is she won't have you do anything that she's not willing to do herself. And, and that's, that's the way I was. I wanted to treat people well, but I wanted them to treat me well, too. Those uh, minority officers like myself that got to be pretty senior within the NORCOR brought a level of um, ethics, respect, work ethic to the table. And I can't ask for any more than that. Last 50 years of NOAA. It's been really good. It's been a good challenge. It's been a good opportunity. The work has been interesting. NOAA, because it is an environmental agency and it touches all people and all parts of their lives, weather, the fisheries, surveying, hurricanes, there's nothing that we, NOAA, don't have some kind of touch of every American. And every American is not well represented within NOAA. And I would truly like to see the workforce be representative because how do you go out into the communities and have them buy into what you're saying and what you're doing from an environmental standpoint and not feel like they're being put upon in some instances if you don't have people that look like them doing some of the work. So I think it's really vital that NOAA has a diverse workforce. It should look like America as far as I'm concerned.